ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ today's subject for satsang niyama coherence of life i wanted to express some of the deep truths to you just now which i experimented during pada puja you would have seen me making some mudras and creating some intense energy with different groups at different times i was experimenting the great truth of the vedic tradition i'll now reveal some of the important findings which i made just now first thing i was trying to keep all the hundreds of trillions of cells of your brain at a time alive whoever is sitting inside this hall that's the first thing i tried not only i was surprised i was shocked and i found it did not take much energy just a will i saw the whole group the whole uh, non mechanical parts of the brain become alive and awakened there are few whose kundalini is awakened and whose body is jumping i was trying to scan what happens to others whose body doesn't move i saw very clearly whether your body moves or not the non mechanical parts of the brain becomes alive awakened sometime for some people through bio memory also that energy gets released for some people the bio memory itself does not releases and it just relaxes so please understand today i discovered very clearly whether your body shakes or not if you are in this presence the process which i am doing is happening in your system rest assured that's the first thing second thing i want to tell you how it is happening first actually the energy connection happens with the people whose body is moving in the kundalini they only first receive signals that's the way it was happening i saw the next thing suddenly all the other people who are inside that net all their brains also just falls into coherence it's almost like a, if you are taking a fork near a vibrating fork automatically this fork also starts vibrating in the same frequency same way this bodies which are vibrating in the kundalini are like vibrating forks so any body inside that area circle suddenly those brains also gets raised to that coherence
another an important very funny thing i saw you will see now what i am revealing will be proved in next few hours through proper evidences and examples and testimonials when i was raising the hand to the male side i could see all over the world the male bodies which are sitting now and connecting with me all their coherence came in the same frequency and tune with the people who are sitting here when i was raising the hand in the female side i saw all the female bodies which are sitting around the world and connecting with me was raised to the same coherence and i raised both the hands and raised i saw all the people who are sitting around the world all of them experiencing intensely the same coherence the same frequency you will see now thousands of people sending their testimonials and experiences now in the ntv and facebook and twitter saying yes 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 <laughs> you will he- you will hear now i don't know how many ss you will hear in 2 3 hours the next thing i discovered if you are having feeling connection even if you are not physically in this space wherever you are sitting the space does not limit you this time wherever you are sitting and trying to connect with me you fall into that same coherence and your kundalini rises if you just have feeling connection and your kundalini is awakened you are initiated at least once in the physical presence the necessity for being in the physical presence disappears wherever you are at this time connecting you raise to this coherence and experience the intense spiritual awakening next thing i realize if you go through the process of working on the tip of the nose just now i discovered see the aging starts in your body the tip of the nose every day for example you are now one day older than yesterday so how that one day becoming older spreads to your bio memory first your tip of the nose becomes old oh one moment old then that message goes to all the system all over the system then all of them say yes now we are one moment old now we are two moment old three moment old four moment old five moment old one day old one year old so the first part which perceives aging in your body is tip of the nose so if you put your awareness on the tip and unclutch from kala time the process which we did in the inner awakening if you are initiated into that process you are not even bound by this time whenever wherever you want to sit sit and connect you will see awakening you will see your frequency raising to this coherence and kundalini experience happening understand if you are just initiated 
into unclutching our kund your kundalini is awakened even once you don't need to have experienced shaking of the body and rolling and all that if you experience that then it becomes full proof over even if you are not experienced those things if you are initiated if you had the energy experience during the initiation see there is a group when they come near me intense experience their body can't stand and jumps rolls does everything but where they are sitting there they may not have levitation understand you are also already initiated even if you have that initiation wherever you sit you are now free from space wherever you sit at this time that morning when the pratyaksha pada puja is happening as on now it is 7:30 to 8 8:15 the indian standard time sit wherever you are and connect you will see the awakening nothing else is required nothing else is required you don't need to do the chaotic breathing you don't need to do the humming you don't need to put the awareness you don't need to unclutch all the four i am doing it at a time see <laughs> so you don't need to do all this individually independently all 45 minute all the five process i am doing at a time nitya dhyan what what all the five process chaotic breathing humming putting your awareness on energy centers and awakening kundalini and guru puja is it not unclutching and guru puja this five all this five in nitya dhyan happens 777 minutes here the whole 45 minutes all five at a time happens your kundalini is awake you are already doing chaotic breathing and you are doing guru puja and what not understand just this 45 minute if you are initiated you are free from space wherever you sit just sit don't miss don't miss just sit towards the direction of where swami ji is residing and connect you will fall into that you will raise into that coherence and experience the kundalini if you are initiated into the process of handling time that the process of unclutching at the tip of the nose from the time means one the boredom if you have mastered time you will not have boredom in your life understand please understand somehow in this next few days i will have one more sitting with you guys break this boredom the moment you break boredom you can make time out of consciousness like a thread out of cotton you can make time out of consciousness your body will not experience the worst anti effects of time on you your body and mind experiences the negative effects of time on you only when you are bored do not expect excitement from something other than time let the time itself excite you let the moment of time over you itself excite you don't expect something else also should come along with the time see now kala time is continuously moving on you but you expect along with kala some more pleasures to come to excite you when those pleasures are missing you feel bored if you are feeling bored with kala you are fighting with time no no
work on the tip of the nose means unclutch putting your awareness on the tip of the nose and break free from kalatraya please understand when i say the word kalatraya it's three different modes of time i am not saying past present future no excited bored anti sometime you are excited about time sometime you are bored of time sometime you are against time this is kalatraya excited about the time is expectation about future bored of time is unable to be in present afraid of time is the fear or the negativity which you have about your past this is kalatraya break free from that kalatraya by unclutching by putting your awareness on the nose in yoga sutras we have a process called samyama samyama means pratyahara dharana dhyana all three put together that is what i mean exactly unclutching if you bring your awareness to the tip of the nose and unclutch from the passing time the boredom created by time excitement about expectations of time the times may happen and the negativity you carry about the times which had happened unclutch from that you are now free from time so you don't even need to sit in particular time with me to be with me wherever you are just connect i'll be there and you'll be there we will be there <laughs> together if you are initiated by initiated into unclutching you are free from space if you are initiated into the unclutching from time you are free from time wherever you sit whatever time it may be just feel connected immediately you will see you raise to the coherence and you are experiencing n effect i could see clearly today morning i saw this whole area is in such high frequency coherence you guys do not know how much you are contributing to the world peace just by sitting and unclutching in the master's presence i could see like a whirlpool that an effect happening and swallowing and destroying negativity we are the black hole of negativity and big bang of n effect i could see very clearly morning wherever people are sitting and connecting just that same n effect happening like a energy race especially where my form is represented through photograph or murtis or padukas those energy centers just lights up <laughs> i could see 
cosmic lighthouses please understand how in the ocean if the boats are lost they see the lighthouse and reach the shore safely where they need to reach i could see the souls which are lost in the cosmic darkness the moment they see this lighthouses they land in those houses or in those area and continue their spiritual journey i myself used arunachala as the lighthouse to land to do what i want to do i am so happy nobody can destroy what i brought to the world not only they can't destroy me or disturb me or try to stop my mission not only they can't disturb me in any way they can't disturb anything i contribute contributed yet to contribute to the humanity because it has its own pure life it cannot be destroyed see because any person having even little bit of insecurity will just run away i had hundreds of mirrors reflecting me i saw mirrors reflects the pure consciousness only in one side i realized if there are hundreds of diamonds hanging around me how it will be this energy can be reflected in multi dimension so all i did is i saw this scandal that insecurity the mirrors which are not capable pat 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 <laughs> breaking to pieces and running away and the diamonds which are really strong standing up and getting nicely polished two three process i saw some diamonds even though they themselves go through the insecurity means it's like a polishing polishing moment the diamond will reduce in size means that all the insecurity part is getting removed all the stone parts are getting removed so even the people who were diamonds earlier now became very more polished shining sophisticated high quality diamonds the unnecessary stone part is getting nicely <laughs> now i am seeing the fully polished shining diamonds and some are getting polished only one thing i want to tell you the diamonds which are getting polished insecurity fear and all that never jump out of the hold that's all you need nothing else i will go on grinding you just don't jump out of the the jar which is holding you nothing else when those diamonds are polished the polished diamonds i can see they radiate reflect me not in one direction in multi dimension so more and more energy centers more and more n effect more and more spiritual energy on the planet earth we will create satya yuga
you will create highest coherence in the human consciousness by awakening the non mechanical parts of the brains and raising the level of whole consciousness in the planet earth i know i can see very clearly especially people from this inner awakening when you go back each one of you will become a lighthouse and lighthouse i can say really honestly it is just now we start our mission what we were doing all these years was preparation i was just sitting on the river bank and sewing the stones and picking up and trying to find out can this become a diamond no all right can this become a diamond all right can this become a diamond all right can this become a diamond all right oh i think this can become a diamond come on keep it here I was just working and when i see oh, this stone the moment you touch it it just becomes pieces and i throw it in the river and they go in the flow uh ah, same tip pressure <laughs> abusal and go into the flow it is now just now i have some strong few diamonds to shine i could see very clearly the n effect happening beautifully around the world understand when the n effect happens in one body it is awakening of the kundalini and non mechanical parts of the brain are awakened brain is awakened if few people sit together the same raising of the highest frequency and coherence happens that is creating an n effect on the group group meditation satsang if a group sits in a city and creates the same n effect continuously at particular time for specific days the n effect is created on the very city and if a group sits different groups sits in different parts of the world and create the same highest coherence at same time every day the n effect is created on the planet earth it seekers rishis munis gandharvas yakshas they all also join us in the same time sitting in their places and connecting it creates n effect on the whole universe because it is time to create satya yuga i declare boldly and courageously <laughs> the energy which i brought the amazing positive effect and conscious effect which i am doing on the planet earth is necessary basic necessary for planet earth and cosmos has decided to veto me
ఓట్ ఫర్ మీ ఓట్ ఫర్ మీ సో ఇట్ వాంట్స్ దిస్ గ్రేటెస్ట్ కాన్షియస్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆన్ ద ప్లానెట్ టెర్త్ అండ్ ఇన్ ద యూనివర్స్ ఐ సా ఇట్ వెరీ క్లియర్లీ దట్ ఈస్ వై such a strong effect is happening everywhere i tell you from today all the paduka mandirs wherever my padukas are there which are energized blessed by me in all paduka mandirs the vibhuti kumkum will start coming from padukas it will be a physical visible expression that n effect is happening you will see in 48 hours how many ss are have coming to ntv <laughs> because i am seeing is maya has become so powerful that doesn't want this satya yuga to happen i saw no maya does not want the unqualified to people to be part of this satya yuga happening it's not that she doesn't want the satya yuga happening itself should not happen no it's not that she feels that satya yuga itself should not happen no satya yuga should happen by the master but all the fellows who are unqualified to be around the master in this great happening should not be there he is so compassionate he will not send them out let us create the insecurity and that is what maya decided so we are winning we will win i could see very clearly the coherence happening beware from tomorrow when you put your padukas just see that there is nothing in the padukas before puja and after the satsang is over see what all is maybe there you can see visibly in the paduka with which you are worshiping are you are doing puja i could see the coherence happening with the highest frequency in the lep i said 10000 people should be levitating at a time all the lep participants felt how can that be only we are some 10 20 are levitating now suddenly see in the sinara awakening itself and the explosion of people catching that highest frequency is just i have put the fire even i cannot with the dry it <laughs> it is not ordinary california fire helicopters can put it off is not california forest fire on some hills helicopters can put it off no it is fire from the hill of fire arunachala cosmic fire great spiritual conscious coherence happening i could see
coherence of life. Let's enter into the sutra. What Patanjali has to tell. It is 83rd sutra in 2nd chapter 32nd verse. Saucha Santosha Tapa Swadhyaya Ishwara Pranidhanani Niyamaha Swami Vivekananda translates this sutra as internal and external purification, containment, mortification, study and worship of God are the niyamas. Swami Prabhavananda translates as the niyamas are purity, containment, mortification, study and devotion to God. Sachidananda translates as niyama consists of purity, containment, accepting but not causing pain, study of spiritual books and worship of God. Let me give my experience on this sutra. Saucha, Santosha, Tapa, Swadhyaya, Ishwara Pranitanani, Niyamaha. First understand the word Niyama. Niyama means creating the highest possible coherence in your body. A man who can create the highest possible coherence in his body is enlightened. Who is trying to create highest possible coherence in his body is a seeker. Who has created the highest possible coherence in his body is enlightened. Who can create that same effect of highest possible coherence in few people is an enlightened mystic. Who can create the same highest possible coherence in more people but with practice, training and the sadhana is an enlightened master person who can create the highest possible coherence in his body in any number of bodies just by <sighs> is an incarnation. Highest possible coherence being created in any number of bodies by the presence, nothing else, is called incarnation. The coherence is niyamaha. Niyama means coherence. All I am trying to do is creating coherence in more and more number of bodies not only that creating bodies which can create coherence in other bodies I tell you don't be afraid at all A few days before many people were asking Swamiji when I start talking about uh, talking about you to people they have so much negativity they are not receptive my spouse is not receptive, my family is not receptive, they are shouting, fighting, nothing. Now go back and just touch them, nothing else. <laughs> Get into this mood of coherence and touch them, that's all. Initiate them. Look into them. Nothing else is required. I am not just making you guys as various. Javans, ordinary Javans, no, I am making you commanders. <laughs> now we need spiritual commanders. Go back and talk to them. You talk, just touch them, that's enough. Confidently just tell them.
now i have decided i am going to radiate enlightenment through all of you because we need strong en light houses all over the world and strong highest possible coherence need to be created in different places all over the world we need en lightening houses and en lightening centers niyama means creating highest possible coherence here patanjali gives a very powerful technique to create highest possible coherence in you in the community you are living in the society you are living and ultimately in the whole civilization you are living saucha internal and external purity if you are pure internally and externally you will create coherence in your body santosha happiness bliss if you are carrying that blissful body language continuously you will create the highest possible coherence in the community you are living in your workplace in your house wherever you are tapa ability to stand any persecution understand persecuted man as a strength and juice which no ordinary man can have if you are stealing the mission ideology philosophy property from your guru you will not be persecuted if you are creating you can be you may be persecuted only creators are persecuted never thieves if you are stealing the ideology philosophy brand properties from your guru you will not be persecuted because you are not creating anything new only if you are creating people may go after you try to persecute you understand in political field how many people you destroy how much you can charge that is your power in spiritual field how much you can stand that is your power <laughs> tapa if you have the tremendous ability to stand this persecution the very civilization society in which you are you can transform you can put the whole society into the highest possible coherence i tell you understand through my tapa tapas of accepting but not causing pain millions of seekers around the world are raising and connecting with me so i am transforming the very community in which i am living by this tapas bearing accepting and not causing pain tapas if you have tapas accepting all the suffering without questioning suddenly you transform the whole community in which you are living understand if you have saucha inner and outer purity you put your whole body into the highest possible coherence if you have santosha bliss you put the community in which you are living into the highest possible coherence if you have tapa tapa means bearing accepting the pain but not causing the whole society in which you are living 
you will put the whole society in highest possible coherence. If you have Swadhyaya, constant strengthening of your highest ideas, highest ideals, you will put the whole civilization in which you are into the highest possible coherence. Ultimately, if you have Ishwara Pranidana, surrendering to the ultimate, you will put the whole universe into the highest possible coherence. Understand? Niyama means raising yourself to the highest possible coherence. Through these five techniques, Saucha Santosha Tapaswadhyaya Ishwara Pranidhanani through this five, you can put your body, the community in which you are living, the society in which you are living, the civilization in which you are living, the whole universe in which you are living to the highest possible coherence. So, understand? I have given a complete new understanding to Niyama. The true understanding to Niyama. I bless you all to be and make the whole universe into the highest possible coherence. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express and radiate The eternal bliss, Nityananda. Thank you.